course, the Scorpions. And I've got Klaus, Rudy, and Matthias right here. How, how are you guys? We are good, great. We are in sunny <laughs> California, you know, it's always happening. And we are always indoors. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but we are very it good. It's a beautiful yeah. sunny day out yeah. there. Yeah, you should be out there. But the curtains are uh, we, close, we don't you know. Go out if it's below 90, you know. <laughs> we don't go out. No, you don't want to face the heat too much, do no, you? Right, right. Anyway, um, we better talk about um, the new album, and obviously you're, gonna, you're touring Europe at the moment as well. Um, now you've got a new bass player, Ralph Reichman. Uh, at what point did you bring him bring him in on the new album, Face the Heat? Uh, he came in when most of the songs were written for mm -hmm. Face the Heat. Uh, I think he came in around uh, September mm -hmm. uh, when Herman gave us a call because mm -hmm. he was uh, producing. Uh, an album for a friend in England and so Ralph was there in the studio with him and he mm -hmm. said hey I have a great uh, mm -hmm. bass player here and since we never really started having auditions for bass players thanks God can you imagine <laughs> I'm not bass players <laughs> you know so uh, we said yeah come to Germany and we check it out so mm -hmm. Herman came with Ralph to Germany we played in Ruder Studio a few Scorpion songs mm -hmm. you know and it, it felt great from the first minute and mm -hmm. uh, we never thought about any other bass player mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we're going to see him in action in just a moment in the first video for Alienation. But we talk a little bit about Face the Heat because um, your last album, Crazy World, had two hit singles, both of which were ballads, as I'm sure most people realize. Um, was it important for you um, for this record to come back with a statement um, with the song Alienation and, you know, that you weren't going to just come back with another ballad? 100%. I mean, we are still a rock band, mm. especially when we play live, you know. We want still kick ass, kick ass rock and roll, you know, not uh, up in Bellet Lands. Yes. For us, it was very important. There was a reason also, Alien Nation is a very good statement from Scorpions mm -hmm. to the kids back and say, look, we are back, mm -hmm. not with another Wind of Change part two. Mm -hmm. No, we are here as mm -hmm. a rock band and we will mm -hmm. stay, still want to be a rock mm -hmm. band. Mm -hmm. And also, it shows your con continuing commitment to, to social issues as well. Yeah, that's right, because it's much more of a challenge really to write about things with a deep meaning, mm -hmm. you know. And I mean, it's great to, you know, have a never-ending party <laughs> and all that. Uh, no question about it. But uh, there's much more to it. And uh, you know, I think yeah, there are a lot of songs on this album. You know, with with a message. And mm -hmm. but also, I think there's still a lot of stuff with a good time rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Did you come to the show tonight? Absolutely. We'll yeah. be seeing a little bit of okay. live performance see later what on. What talking about right yeah. now? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Now we're going into the video for Alienation, the first track from Face the Heat. And um, to me, this video really um, put Scorpions firmly in the 90s. I, I think it's the best video you've ever done. It was Matt Mahurin who directed it. Right. Yes, Matt Mahurin, we had a great time to work with him because he is one of the person, he knows exactly what he wants mm. to get, you know. And we only had live performance for maybe, let's say, two or three, three hours, mm -hmm. the whole thing was done. You know, he said, you're, you're sure? You have everything? He said, yes, everything clear. And I mean, that's how the uh, video also has to work, mm -hmm. you know, and we had a good time with him. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go into that video now. We're going to talk to Scorpions a little bit later on, but right now we are going to show you a... of Rock Weekend. We're talking about their new album, Face the Heat. And uh, I know that um, 
you wrote this album in a, in a very different frame of mind to, to Crazy World because you'd had some time off, you'd lost your previous bass player who'd been with the band for something like 18 years. How, how did you put pro all these problems behind you? Did, was the actual writing and recording of the record very, very, very good from that point of view? Looking back, yes. Mm -hmm. When we're, we're right in the middle of all the madness, mm -hmm. it was terrible, you know, because instead of having an ever party on the success of Crazy World and Wind of Change, mm -hmm. we were really falling into deep shit and we really were facing really serious problems with tax authorities in Germany. And since we live in Germany and we pay our taxes there, we wanted to get things right. Mm -hmm. And so we fired our business manager and uh, to our surprise, Francis decided to stick with him mm -hmm. for reasons we, to this very day, we don't know and don't understand. And of course, uh, this was a very emotional thing, like a divorce, you know. Mm -hmm. And because for us, uh, the scorpions, they are our baby, you know, and this is something very unique. And of course, we tried to protect our band history, mm -hmm. but it didn't work out in the end. And it was tough to be right in the middle of all the uh, madness. And, uh, but looking back, I think it's always good when you have to fight, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, the scorpions were always the strongest when we had to fight. Yeah. Like 10 years ago when I lost my voice with Blackout, mm -hmm. I had to fight mm -hmm. and the band had to fight. And we came out stronger than ever before. Mm -hmm. And we feel the same way now, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, when you come back, uh, you come off a very successful album, you mm -hmm. lean back and go, hey, life's mm -hmm. a beach, mm -hmm. you know, now we mm -hmm. do the next album, everything's mm -hmm. no, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But we were in a position, you know, we really had to fight again. We said, okay face the heat mm -hmm. and get it over with, you know, don't put your head in the sand, you know, no whining, <laughs> we get it over with and we go out there and mm -hmm. we knew we come up with the strongest album ever, mm -hmm. you know, because, and that's looking back, you know, as bad as it was, but there's nothing as bad that mm -hmm. uh, we, you couldn't, we couldn't find something mm -hmm. good in it, you know, we mm -hmm. turned all the negative energy that was throwing at us, we turned it around. Mm -hmm into music. Mm -hmm. So as a result, the first song that came out was Taxman Woman, you know, yeah. because I was sick and tired mm -hmm. of dealing with all these tax people and, and business meetings and lawyers and all this. And it was such a relief to go back in the studio and, and play music, you mm -hmm. know. And when you listen to Taxman Woman, you know, there was mm -hmm. a kind of attitude and, mm -hmm. you know, it's, hey, uh, it, it deals with a lot of humor, you know, yeah. with this whole matter. And I think a lot of people out there were we like that song because, you know, it's about how much we all love paying taxes, right? Yeah. I, I mean, as Actually, you said I earlier... You, I must tell you a taxman uh, woman story. Mm -hmm. Because a couple of days ago, we, we had a meeting with tax authorities in, in mm -hmm. Germany, and uh, there she was, the taxman okay. woman. A taxman woman. Would a taxman, woman. <laughs> looking one, yes. <laughs> a great looking one. I said to the guys, Long you know... <laughs> it would, it, yeah, yeah. I wished I had, a, I had a camera, you know, I would have made a video out of it, you mm -hmm. know, because... <laughs> It was just perfect. I said to the to the guys, you know, if this song would have been written, mm -hmm. this point, I mean, this was then, <laughs> it was a must to write a song after this meeting because there she was, Taxman Woman. Oh, God. Immediately coincidence. went to her, she, she came to us in a break and said, can I have an autograph? We said, okay, good. And Herman yeah. said, hey, you are a perfect person for our next video. <laughs> yes, I am. She was very excited, yeah, you know. Of you know, because it's a much more exciting job, you know, being a Scorpius video than being in a tax department, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. Mm. Um, very quickly, your European tour, um, are you going back a little bit more to basics with the staging and production to focus more on the music? I mean, we are, let's say, good singer, uh, because um, people always complaining when you have a too big show and they say, oh, why you have to have the big show mm -hmm. when you have a small uh, stage? Mm -hmm. They're going and say, why you have not a bigger one, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I think for us it's important, first of all, we go to back also in this case mm -hmm. on into music. Mm -hmm. We want to bring the people something special. In this right. case, we have, my brother will uh, be a part of our, uh, now is a new secret, we didn't told you last time because he want to <laughs> save something for this time. He will um, be a part of our acoustic set. He will Brilliant. Be, yes, and he will play, uh, play one song from his uh, new album, acoustical mm -hmm. album, Thank You. Mm -hmm. And I think many people will like it very much to that's, see him on stage with us. And I think it will be a highlight of the show. Good, great. Okay, well, thank you very much to t for talking to us on Monsters of Rock Weekend. What about you now? You want to have a shot? Uh, yeah, I will in a minute, actually. But let me just tell you that Duff McKagan is out with the Scorpions on tour in Europe, and we're going to see Duff of Guns N' Roses in action right now. And let me uh, see if... Come on, Vanessa. Have a Give it a try. Here. 
Oh, oh, what a sensitive girl, huh? what a sensitive shot.